Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a Prime Wardrobe Style Service unboxing and I give style service from quotation marks because I'm still not convinced that it's not just a computer thing. But I am excited to show you guys what is in here. If you'll notice, my box is already open and if you watch my recent Six Fix or Fashion, you'll hear me say that I filmed three videos with the microphone off and intros and try-ons, just not the um, kind of price section. And realized that my new microphone was off. So <laughs> that was really disappointing. And I'm still sad about it because I spent a lot of time on them and then I have to do them again. So regardless, we're doing it again. And I'm gonna skip the unboxing portion because I don't wanna give you guys fake reactions of pretending like I didn't know what was in there. So we'll just skip straight to the try on and then do the prices and decide what to keep. If you're not familiar with this service, it's a $5 fee monthly. You put in a note for a stylist after you, you know, you start out with initial style survey, but each month you put in a note for the stylist, what you're interested in, and they send you, you know, maybe like 16 items, something like that. And out of there, you pick up to eight items that you want to have sent to you. They give you a seven day period, which is awesome for you to decide what to keep and then send back what you don't want to keep. The $5 fee does not apply to anything you purchase, but it's $5, so it's not too bad. I did have a viewer say that she couldn't sign up with a debit card, that they required you to have a credit card, so just FYI on that. And one thing that I realized this time is you can actually swap out anything that's eligible for Prime Wardrobe. So one thing was they sent me, I think, a dress, and I actually went in Clicked on the dress, it pulls up the regular, you know, site to show you size and all the information that you would see there on Amazon. And I picked a different color and added that in. So you, I think you could do that to anything that's Prime Wardrobe eligible is add that into your box. So if you don't like the status picks, you might as well just pick some stuff out for yourself. So yay for that. So I say let's go ahead and just start trying this stuff on. Here we have the first dress. And this is an Amazon ritual dress. I'm gonna tell you most of the deets at the end, but if it's relevant, I will tell you throughout it. So yes, this is an, one of the Amazon brand dresses and I actually really like it. I like the color of it. It's like a, a heathered plum color. So there you guys can see that. And I love the shape of it. I've been looking for um, sheath. The sheath is my favorite fit of dress. It's not bodycon, but it's it just has a good, almost form fitting, but not quite fitting. So I, that's like been my like go to type of shape of dress. Oh, did I mention my hair? Hi, <laughs> I forgot that part. So my hair is different from the beginning of the video to now. I'm not sure if this will end up being the first video that I post with my new hair, but. I have new hair now. This is, I just got this done a couple of days ago and I actually haven't even washed it yet. So this is like two days after it getting done and styled. There's a, a better, more fresh pictures of it on my Instagram. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. If not, that's cool. So yeah, uh, my hair's kind of lighter, blonde. My ends were horrible. So I had this just long, drab hair and I wanted to do something a little bit more exciting. We actually have band photos coming up. So I wanted better hair for band photos. So now I have this and most of the time I like it. Sometimes it's like, what have I done? But uh, um, yeah, it's different. Uh, bangs are different. I haven't had bangs since elementary school. So anyways, enough about my hair. Let's get back to the dress. Um, so anyways, I love it. So here's the 360. And I think it's a great shape fit. It's a t-shirt dress, so it's just super light, casual. I like it. Let's get on the next item. Okay, so this one is a strange contraption of a dress. We'll just say, I don't, here, let me button up one of the sleeves. First of all, I mean, I do like the color, it, but it is actually, I'm looking over there because it's actually very similar to a dress I got from Fashion in color and material, um, kind of a silky-ish, maybe silky polyester-ish material. 
and so I already have a very similar color and material as this it's got it's almost like a two-piece dress but it's connected um, half of it is connected to the dress and the front half is not so there's like a little peekaboo aspect which I don't necessarily mind that so here's the 360 of this. I like the shape. It does have a little bit more of the fit and flare, which I do enjoy a fit and flare, but I just don't think I'm over the moon for it. And I do think with me having something already this color and material that it's like, I'm probably good. But I don't know. This is cute. Love to get you guys' opinions on this bad boy. I ate a big dinner, a big meal today. I'm bloated. So this dress is not the right time to wear this, but here we go. I debated whether I even wanted to shimmy into this thing. I actually bought, I think, a black version of this off of a Stitch Fix board, and I think I've maybe worn it once to like a holiday Christmas party. I am not a bodycon person, so this is a definite no. It is just too tight. I had to wiggle into it and you can see my dinner. So let's get this off. Okay so I have the dress on now and I like it. It's cute but I'm not over the moon for it. Okay obviously first of all as with many rep things I'm just not filling out up the top so that's not great. So that in itself just makes it a deal breaker but outside of that the sleeves i don't know i don't really care for like how baggy they are i mean that's clearly on purpose but i'm just not a huge fan of that but other than that i really liked it it just it's not perfect so probably will not end up keeping it i do like the stripes though these kind of stripes might be in kind of this multicolor stripes because i feel like i've been getting um a bit of these type of dresses recently so yeah, okay, let me know what you guys think. Okay, next up we have this gray heathered sweater and looks like normal sweater from the front, but in the back it is an open back and yes, yeah, that is just a bra strap right in the middle there. So I am not a fan of the open back solely because it just makes me super cold. So I'd have to wear something underneath it, which completely defeats the purpose of an open back. So not my thing. Overall, this is actually a little bit big on me as well. I think it's cute. I think I think these little backs are cute details on other people. They're just not a gen thing. So that's cool. And then we have these, these are Levi's and I have really, some of my favorite pairs of pants right now are Levi's. So I'm going through a Levi's phase. And, but these, these just didn't hit as well with me. They're mid rise. And so I'm just, I don't know. I like being tucked into a high rise. I've gotten used to that and I love it. So the mid rise is kind of in. Eh. The distressing is really cute. I love the knee holes and stuff. They're super long, but they're a raw hem. So that's fine. Although it's kind of a, almost a wavy raw hem. So I would hate to, you know, have to cut that off for it being too long. So these are probably not keepers. But I do think they're cute. Here's my 360 with these. They're definitely cute and I would recommend them to anyone, but they're just not perfect for me. So I think I have one more top left. Okay, so this one I'm just gonna hold because it definitely you'd have to wear a tank underneath it because it's just like super open. You can see bra and I didn't put a tank on with it. So here it is. I think it's cute. I have had some wrap tops like these before. I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on it. I like it, but I don't know how excited I would be to reach for it, particularly because of having to wear a tank underneath it. Like, I'm just, there are certain, I don't know, V-necks and low cut stuff that I have to wear tanks under. I don't particularly love that kind of like little peep of tank that I have to do there. It's not my favorite. So it's okay. And then I forgot that I have booties, so let me get those on real quick. Okay, booty. I'm just being lazy and putting one on, and I'm not even adjusting the cameras because I didn't particularly care for these. They're super pointy. The heel isn't high enough for my taste. I like a little bit more heel, or at least maybe a chunky one. I'll give you guys a close-up here um, in my summary, but 
but they're just okay. I don't love them. So, okay. All right, let's do prices and I'll read off brands and we'll just chat. Okay, so let's go over prices and decide what to keep here. So here we go. This dress is by Aster, A-S-T-R, and Aster the label. And it is the women's long sleeve cutout short wrap dress in extra small. It is $49.40. Like I said, it's just too similar to another dress that I have, so I'm not going to keep that. This dress is the French Connection dress. This is the women's Sudan solid ribbed mini dress, and it is $38.82. That's a good price for this dress, and I may, that's what I may have actually paid for a used version of this, but it's just too tight, so not gonna keep that. This is the Find, I guess that's the brand, Find. Uh, this is, just says fine, women's. So it is, uh, but it, this was the wrap shirt. It is 1934, and again, a good price, but I just didn't want to have to wear a cami underneath it, so not going to keep that. Then this dress is by Speechless. This is the women's casual wrap dress, and it is 3005. Again, all these prices are pretty decent, so I'm pretty happy with that, but it just, wasn't perfect, I didn't quite fill out the bosom, so not gonna keep that. Then we have the Vero Moda Women's Royal Long Sleeve Wrap Back Blouse, and it is $21.52. That's a great deal. This tag here says $39 on it, but like I said, yeah, it's just on here as $21.52. Great, great deal. Still not gonna keep. <laughs> And then, oh, I am wearing the Amazon brand Daily Ritual Women's Jersey 3 4 Sleeve T-shirt dress, and it is $20.50. Keeping. Your girl's keeping that. Then we have the Levi's Women's 535 Super Skinny Jeans, and these, and they're short, so I'm always appreciative when I get sent short. And it is $41.76, but again, not going to keep. It's just... It's just not perfect. I wish it was high rise and I wish I wouldn't have had to cut off the ends. So I'm not going to keep that. And then the booty, let's give you guys a good look at that. So there you go. Snake skin looking booty and a little heel on it. And this is the Circus by Sam Edelman women's Kingston fashion boot and it is $42.99. Again, not going to keep. That is too much. I just for some reason can't get on board with a pointy toe snake skin. There's too much connotation with that. I don't know, it just wasn't a great shape for me, not my thing. So, that's it. I made it through this video twice, so nice job, Jen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Okay.